Hello everyone. It's now 7.49 a.m. in the morning. <clears throat> Excuse me, so I think I got like an hour and a half, almost two hours of sleep. So I woke up to a comment where that queen Nubian person, now when you say the stuff that you said make me feel like, oh, you a perp too. Because like it seemed like she was nice and supportive and, you know, donated a couple of times. And then now it seems like she's trying to discredit me. She left a fake perp comment saying, um, you must be true with yourself. What did you do to get banned from all shelters permanently forever or something like that, she said. You know, and so, like, when I'm going through what I'm going through, you know, outsiders, if they act like as if they want to try to, um, you know, blame the target, then the target will be like, okay, you a perp or somebody sent you to come and harass. Or they, come on, that's, that's a perp. Blasting loud music while I'm trying to do, as soon as I start trying to do my video, fuck. See? Ignorant ass. I thought I paused it. Um, so, like, I woke up with her making that comment. It, it pretty much got me really agitated right now. Because I talk all the time about the gang stalkers getting me wrongfully permanently banned from this place and banned from that place as part of the gang stalking. So I don't even know if the perps got in her head or if they, I mean, if they, if they got into her, if they saw her supporting me at first and then got in her head and changed her opinion about me or changed her mind about me. Um, you know, and then two of my twin sisters cult followers gave her two fake thumbs up. So, so I mean, I'm like, I mean, I was already like wrongfully permanently banned from the shelters in like in 2018. You know, I had been gang stalked and wrongfully permanently banned from the shelters. And then last year, that rebuild center, I have a video of the gang stalking activity and them ganging up on me, and I'm wrongfully permanently banned. They lied on me, and then, um, you know, and the fake security guard threatened to slap the piss out of me and stuff like that. Like, when I go to homeless shelters being targeted, they gang stalk, bully and mob you out of the shelters the same way that they do the um the same way that they do the um you know with jobs in, in any place or, or bully you out of your home like they do this everywhere I'm not to blame I'm not at, not at fault and I didn't even do anything to deserve to be like banned from everywhere you know so so it seems like this fake queen Nubian, yeah, you marked in my book as a fucking perp, and I blocked you everywhere, including Cash App. Just stay the fuck away from me. Don't ever try to contact me again. For you to just come unprovoked and just come and I wake up, you know, this morning and, and find out that you're just, like, attacking me and making me blame myself for my targeting, and I'm freaking innocent. I should have my home. I shouldn't have to be punished, wrongfully punished with a shelter anyway, or wrongfully punished with being on the streets anyway. So, so yeah, she, she's, a, she's a perp. And then trying to mix Christianity and witchcraft.
So I had my, my phone camera turned the opposite way because, um, you know, I'm already going on my walk anyway. But I thought I had $10, but now I just have 9 And um, the place where I'm going, I, where I need to charge my phone, I'm not going, I don't think I'm going across the river today. But it, I mean, it, it won't be until at least between tonight and maybe Tuesday for me to see, get the um, $100 or whatever payout from the AdSense. So, I don't know exactly how much that will be, you know. But I mean, she she woke. I mean, I woke up upset at, at her comment that she that she did that to me. You know, it's either you don't understand what I'm going through, or you a perp, or a perp trying to um, antagonize, trigger, and provoke. And they got these flies harassing me. Fuck. Like, I, I mean, it seemed like that one comment, it just upset me and ruined my whole fucking day. It seemed like now I, now I just got enough funds for, um, you know, just for a super, I don't even think I have enough to get what I'm, what I'm trying to get. You know, so yeah, and and then with me being disabled, a lot of the times they won't even let me have my earbuds to block out loud noise, or they make it like other parts of my disability. Oh, you're breaking shelter rules and stuff, and some other stuff going on too. And then people in the t- the people in the TI community say to stay away from shelters anyway. Shelters take all your money and they'll exploit the poor and homeless and they're exploitative money hungry prison scam cults. And I heard that they're part of human and sex trafficking and even organ trafficking and part of human trafficking. And people in the targeted individual community say stay away from the shelters and stay out of the shelters. And then they do like a lot of evil stuff like poisoning food and you know a lot of other just wicked stuff you know um in the shelters so um i'm gonna just go on my walk and go where i'm going and you know i don't even know if she said what she said out of ignorance or she really is a perp but that really um triggered and upset me that's the perp that was um purple with the red bag <clears throat> if someone is targeted they didn't do anything to deserve the, that's why it's called persecution because we, we're getting all these attacks and we don't deserve it um, New Orleans mission is a, a cult and they're extremely, they were extremely abusive over there you know, hey, oh, I didn't realize that that was you. I'm sorry. Oh, I thought I thought that was a I thought that was a um different person. Well, I didn't realize. I thought that um. I didn't realize that was that guy. I thought it was a different person who was a perp, you know, but I don't know. He might be one. So, yeah, I mean, as I said, I don't know if she said what she said out of, out of ignorance or she didn't know or if a perp at the gang stalking network turned her against me and sent her to, to say that to me. But I was wrongfully permanently banned from the shelters 
before I got the full picture of what gang stalking is. I mean, was it earlier this year? Somebody tried to get me into a shelter and they in the shelter rejected me. And shelters, a lot of times, they lie to me and say that they don't have room. And, um, you know, like, it was in the winter, and that happened, and um, I tried to get into a shelter in Cincinnati, Ohio, last year. And, you know, they straight up lied to me and said that there was no room, and it was cold. So I was forced to have to be on the streets. I mean, and they do stuff like lie to the target and say that, I mean, with this government watch list program, yeah, they lie to the target and say that, oh, we don't have no room, we don't have no beds available. And they be lying their asses off. So, if, if you don't believe that I'm being gang stalked, then my channel ain't the channel to follow. Because a lot of people who don't claim, I mean, I mean, a lot of people who claim, a lot of people, while wow, they're doing noise, noise campaign, a lot of people who claim that they don't believe, um, or that they, they don't think I'm targeted, they, they'd be the ones, you know, the ones who be trying to convince other people that I'm not being targeted, they'd be the main ones targeting and perping and harassing. So, and then people want to victim blame me for my situation. Hold on. So, people want to victim blame me for my situation for excuses to justify not wanting to help or to make, give themselves the reason to think I deserve to be punished with no help. I mean, if, if, I, if I can get wrongfully, permanently banned from a whole corporation of hotels, what we'll make you think I can't be banned from all the shelters? And then they'll tell you, check yourself or realize you're the problem. No, um, and that's how the gang stalkers try to gaslight. I don't know, I'm very um, furious that she, that she did that to me. And then y'all the same people who gossip and talk like you think y'all talk like y'all think y'all know what I'm going through. Or they'll, you'll see one thing that you think that you don't like about me, and then just and then try to use that to justify well, oh, Candy is always a bad person, and it's not like that. <laughs> y'all won't even listen to me trying to tell y'all the truth. See, here's a perp right here. More. Get, look at those colors. Fake Jehovah's Witness gang stalking. New Orleans Mission is a cult just like the fake Jehovah's Witnesses. Salvation Army is a cult too. Fake Jehovah's Witness gang stalking. Hi, excuse me. Do y'all have change to spare for food to eat? Excuse me, I hate to bother y'all. Anybody got a chance to spare for food to eat? Okay. Like I got no, I got nothing, no help online yesterday, and I got some help yesterday in in person. And they, and one of the gang stalking goals is to force the target to be homeless. So a lot of um, a lot of targets. Damn! I wish they would be shut up.
happen. So, so come on. It's just noise every fucking way. I can't even get my words out. So, damn, you even got the fucking birds. Shut up, shut up. So, I'm not being ganged up, right? Oh yeah, here's the proof right here. One hand like criminal. XBT 891. Well, they had no headlights and what looked like one fog light. Well, I was hoping to get help with one more dollar to get what I was trying to get. Um, so, if um, and and they have other homeless, t other targeted individuals for. Come on, this train. They have. See, well, I'm gonna fucking stand right here till I get what I get out what I need to say. Now that the train is using noise harassment. So, um, one of the gangs, and, and look, they got the fucking plane now. So, fuck, quit it! Damn! Every time I try to talk, they're doing this on purpose. Well, I'm a fucking, I'm a fucking stand right here. See, they keep on harassing me with the noise on purpose to manipulate for me to over time. They keep disrupting and distracting me on purpose to, to, prevent, to prevent me from telling the truth and saying what I need to say. And on purpose to try to manipulate for me to forget what I was trying to talk about. So, the gang stalking goals, one of them is to make a, a target to be forced to be homeless. So, if they're forcing you to be homeless, you don't think that they will deny you from all the damn shelters? And all the, um, I mean, I've seen videos of other targeted individuals forced to be homeless. And... They end up being forced to be homeless, and then they walk into a shelter and just be refused and denied shelter, unprovoked for no reason at all, because they they already know who you are, and they and your name is on a list. I mean, on a you know that government watch list. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it's not our fault. We're innocent. And other shelters or cults are they always full? Um, they're not shelters are not free. Um, they take all your money. Take, try if you get food stamps or whatever, they try to take all your food stamps, and they try to take all your government assistance with every everything from you. Take everything and then force you into this cult mind control program. Don't judge something unless you've been through it.
and being a homeless, or see that van was waiting for me, being a homeless targeted individual is a different experience from a regular homeless person. Like, not just homeless shelters, but targeted individuals forced, you know, we denied rights in multiple situations. They, they won't even let us have a job. Let me get off here.